it. <laughs> All right. So I'm, I'm really prepared tonight, which means I'm going to be thinking I've forgotten everything. Here's the stamp set we're using. And it says, um, friends forever, so sorry for your loss. A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. That's the one I used. Keep calm and wag on. Just for you, it's got a two-step little um, stamp for the little doghouse. And that's so cute. You could do a little red doghouse and come back with some brown dimensionals. <laughs> yes, Leanne, thank you. And breathe. Whew. Yes. So you can do like a red little doghouse here and come back with some, I don't know, whatever color you want. You could do that in Versamark and um, heat it up with your embossing, your heat embossing tool. Now, what is this right here? Okay, those are his spots. What if he's a spotted puppy? Now, my friend Zach's puppy was not spotted. Um, she, Her name was Dixie, and she was a, uh, I, I'll say a yellow lab, because she was... She was like a creamy color. She was just beautiful. Um, and she was ill, and, and it wasn't sudden, but it's still hard. Um, maybe we needed a collar on that. I don't know. But anyway, we got more spots, and we got rough, rough. We got hearts. We got little bone. And this is in the annual catalog right here. Dalmatian, yes. Popper uppers. <laughs> Avery calls them piper uppers. Okay, so I've got my stamps already mounted here. Believe it or not, y'all. I'm trying to impress y'all. Are y'all impressed? Okay. And here's my um my card base. I just cut it from an eight and a half by eleven, and I always always tell y'all it goes eleven inches that way, eight and a half this way. You cut it in the middle. So this now, instead of being eleven, is now five and a half. And this is still eight and a half, but when you score it down the middle at four and a quarter, you use your bone folder and seal it, and you've got a four and a quarter <laughs> by five and a half. This five and a half, that's four and a quarter. Okay. Whew. I usually get that all backwards. Oh, I got a little something cute over here, too, that if, if I'm not just too long, we'll make that, too. You always impress. Yes! <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to use black. See how fuzzy that is? Look at this. Y'all see how fuzzy? My stampin', um, my trimmer thing was not happy tonight. So here's what I'm going to show you to do. When you get a little fuzzy edge, you just do like that. You know how you put a little spit on your finger and wipe your kid's hair down? Okay, I'm kidding. Mommy used to do that. Anyway, you just do that. And see how smooth and perfect it looks? Nobody will ever know. So let's go ahead and seal this down. Seal it. Listen to me. Seal it. Oh, look what Sally made. Y'all, okay. First of all, a card fits perfectly in here. Look at that. Is that not adorable? She made this for me, and I love it so much. And I can use it on my Monday fun days. Because, and this is my cousin's sister friend, Sally. And um, <laughs> she is my husband's cousin, but I've been in the family for 42 years, and I'm starting to look like all of them. So I say they are all mine. I've been one of them longer than I've been the other, my normal family. My, <laughs> wait a minute. They are the normal family. <laughs> my original, the people I came from, the the wolves out in the woods, those people. Okay, anyway. So <laughs> all right. I'm going to stop with that. So I'm going to get my little snail out snail adhesive and it sounds like a duck sounds like a duck okay and now we go and i taught Rin a little song today how much is that doggy in the window she loved it loved it okay so that's our base now this is all just one layer and believe it or not it's this color what do you think of that hmm Okay, now it's going to take a little bit of ink because what I'm trying to achieve here is is this kind of a pretty, um, all these different colors blended together, and that's what we're that's what we're shooting for. So we are going to start with seaside spray. All right, and y'all, can I tell you how much I love this color? 
Seaside Spray. It is so pretty. I'm using my little um thingies. They're ink daubers. Hmm. Listen to me. I know what they're called. I wonder if you could cut some aluminum foil to sharp, sharpen the paper cutter blade. You know, Nyoka, we do that with our punches, don't we? So that might help. Might help. Okay, this is going to get messy. It's going to be a hot mess. Okay, so I'm just going to... Let me tell you, these things leave circles, all right? And I'm not thrilled about that. So you're just going to kind of... You're just going to kind of try to just go in a circle, okay? You, you don't want to come onto your card like this. See the circles I'm leaving right here? You don't want to do that. So I'm just dabbing it off a little bit, and then I'm coming through, and I'm just going in circles. Okay? Just doing like this a little bit. You can still see some of the, some of the round spots, but that's, you won't be able to see that in a minute. I know how to hide stuff, y'all. Trust me. I know how to hide it. All right. Now, I think we're done with this Seaside Spray, prettiest ink ever. Okay, but then again, it, it says C on it, so, you know, y'all know I love everything nautical. This is called Soft Sea, Soft, <laughs> Soft Sea Foam. <sighs> okay, here we go. Now, y'all see, I always pinch them right here to pop them open, but you don't have to do that. You can just go like this. I think that's what they're designed to do, but... Who knows? Okay, here comes the soft sea foam and its little ink dauber. All right, so we're just going to dab that, dab it off a little bit here, and then we're going to go like this. Now, I'm just putting a little bit more color right there, okay? Now, we're going to stop. Well, no, I'm, mm, yeah, I'm going to stop there. We're coming back to this color, though. Okay, so right now... Uh, we're going to use this layering circle. I'm going to say it's two inches. We'll know for sure in a minute. But I think it's two inches. All right, y'all go over there. You go over there. This, Mr. Big Shot's coming. Mr. Big Shot. Oh, it's really big stuff, y'all. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stuff? You're never going to get my love. Actually, it gets all my love because I love my big shot. Okay, we're going to put this right here. Let me tell you what this is. This is double-sided. The whole thing, the whole dang thing is sticky, y'all. It's a post-it note. Now, I had to get these on Amazon because our office supply people do not understand how important it is to have them. And I put it on a piece of paper because when I cut the first one to make this mask here, Yes, Courtney, you got to have one um, three times fast, <laughs> right? When I cut this heart, when I when I used this mask here, I had stuck it directly to my little plate here, and y'all see all that junk? Well, guess what? It picked it up. So we're going to try it this way this time. I'm going to put it right, well, hold on. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to center him up a good bit and sandwich him in. We're going to put it through here, and I know Courtney loves this machine, and I do too. And I know I've told y'all we have... Hey, Lisa! Good to see you here. Um, I hope you got your your catalog. Okay, so we... Um, we I think I told y'all before that we have um, Amish and Mennonite demonstrators who love this because it doesn't require electricity. It doesn't require electricals. Okay, we're done with him. That's all the that's all the big shot and we're gonna do. So now I gotta peel it off. Let's see how that goes. Oh sweet. It's gonna work. Have y'all seen um you know on YouTube videos the ladies always have such pretty nails. Okay that's not me. I'm just saying I don't do that. Okay, so now we got a big old sticky circle. Oh, let's measure him. No, let's don't. This doesn't have any numbers on it. All right, so I'm, this right here is our moon. Moon River. Okay, I don't even want to sing that. Hold on. Where's my... Here it is. Okay, put this in here. I just keep... Y'all, I just... It's a hot mess. I printed these out because one day somebody wanted all the dimensions, and I'm like, are you serious? But anyway, um, I printed it out because if anybody ever asked me again, I've got that. Okay. And by the way, thank you everyone who ordered from me. 
I appreciate your orders so much. So much. I have got to advance, people. I've got to go to the next level, and I'm counting on you. Please sing. <laughs> I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Okay, so I'm going around like this. Just like this. Now, you're like, hey, we can't hardly see that. Oh, but wait. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fabulous. We're going like this. And you do, you can press a little bit as you're getting toward the end of your ink. You can kind of press it and kind of say, hey, you are going to be inky. You are. We're not putting up with this. I don't want to be inky. Mm -mm, you will. There you go. Because I am the boss of this ink pad. I got to be in charge of something, y'all. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. So this is going to give us that little, that little, um, you see almost like a haze around our moon. Yeah. Okay. So next is our, we're done with the the soft, <laughs> easy for me to say, soft sea foam. Um, let's do, oh, look what I found. Mm -hmm. See all the poo that's on, did, did I just say the poo? I did. I did. I said, see all the poo on here? It's not really poo, y'all. It's just stuff that came off my, off my, um, thing over here. But that's what happened when I laid it directly down and cut it directly on it. When I peeled it up, it looked like that. And I kind of had to, had to just be the boss of it to keep it down on my paper. And ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, what color? We're going to do Highland Heather. This is another beautiful color. And while I'm doing this, I got to tell y'all, this is the craziest thing. If you did not see my video from last night, I did a live because I was just full of myself and I wanted y'all to know it. Um, <laughs> okay, so I won a grand prize at an event I was at on Saturday out in Warner Robins, Georgia, where... Me and my sister, cousin, friend, Sally, um, we went and we spent the night, had a little spend the night party. It was so much fun. Just the two of us catching up on 20 years of me being, living away in Savannah. And um, we used to just, I don't know, we were, we were involved with each other almost on a daily basis. And then we moved to Savannah. And then when Ren got sick, we just stopped everything and came back home. But anyway... So she and I went to Warner Robins, and um, we spent the night, like I said, and I won a $117 shopping spree. Don't worry about these dots, y'all. I know you're going, oh my gosh, she's got dots. Um, thank you, Donna. I love these colors too, Courtney. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, they drew two prizes at this event. Now, now we, okay. First of all, it was a fabulous event. I, I don't want to go on and on about it because it's all on that video from yesterday, but I could, y'all. I could. It was so much fun. I met one of the sweetest people there, and I went with one of the sweetest people ever. So, you know, what more could I want? Okay, how about a $117 shopping spree? So I did place my order tonight. And by the way, there goes the Highland Heather. Say bye. Okay, and here comes the blueberry bushel. Okay, and that's a blue-blue color, like blue. Who knew? Well, it says blueberry, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. Now, you see how I started off of my cardstock? Now, I'm going to get dark on this one. So, um, yeah, so we went to this thing, and it was just so much fun, and we made all these cards, and I showed them on that video, and... um. That's y'all y'all just need to get into stamping up. I tell you what, if you if you are not yet a demonstrator. Cause we get to do stuff, y'all. Oh, and next year it's highly possible. Highly possible that we're gonna have some uh events close to Munin, Georgia, close to Atlanta, Georgia. So um y'all might just wanna be thinking about all that. We're getting there with our colors. We're getting there. Now, Matt, uh-oh, look at that. Imagine um, if you wanted to do like a harvest kind of a color, you could do that too. Um, you could use golds and yellows and some 
burgundies and reds, oranges, things like that, and do just a harvest color. Let's see. Got this going. And... See, we're getting there. We're getting there. You probably like, uh-uh. But we are. Trust me, we are. I'm trying not to go a little crazy on this blue because I do want the other colors to come through. And once you lay down your dark color, you know, you're pretty much committed. I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna call that a I'm gonna call that a thing. Okay, y'all ready for the big reveal? Such a cool way to make a night sky. Yes, it is. Y'all ready? That's my drum roll. Woohoo! Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Except for the boo-boo. Don't look at the boo-boo. Okay. We can put our greeting right there. All right. So we've got our little night kind of a sky. See this right here. And now what I did, I did spray my um, glittery stuff after I put the puppy on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spray it now and not have a glittery puppy. Let's do that. Let's see. All right. This is called Frost White, and it says all-purpose ink, suitable for all porous surfaces such as paper, hello, fabric, wood, leather, and many others, all right? There's a little ball in there. We shake it up. Yes, Karen, if you become a demonstrator, the perks will make you perky, won't it? <laughs> Okay, so I got him good and shook up, and this is my alcohol. Don't worry, I'm not a heavy drinker. Well, I am, but with this kind of stuff, okay? Um, <laughs> it's isopropyl alcohol. This one's 70%. I don't know. Do we need more than 70? I don't know. But since I'm messy, I'm moving that over, just in case the crazy happens. Okay, let me start over. This is our Stampin' Spritzer. It's got a little, a little pst on the end. So you can go, psst, be gone. You can fill it full of be gone, and it'll be, psst, be gone. So I never could remember the name, so the only thing I retain is water. Y'all know that. Stampin' Spritzers, all right? It's in the annual catalog. Its little cap does not fit on the L. Yes, it does. Look at that. It does unless you tape Stampin' Spritzers on it. Okay, but I need to get all of this in there, so check it out. How about that? We already shook him up. So we're going to take, now this is really thick and goopy. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to do dot uh, drips. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do six drips. Let's be careful not to lay things flat because, you know, they will spill. All right, so my little six drips are down in here. All right, down in here. Now, this alcohol that I got has the little thingy lid. It's not just an open lid, and this is what you need right here. So now I'm looking at the side to see, and this color is frost white, by the way, in case y'all missed that. We're going to pour this down in here. I'll show you in a second. Oh, I got it really full, and I'm going to put this little guy back down in here. Oh, dear. Yep, I got a little too full. Hold on. Okay, see, I got a solution for almost everything. If not, I'm going to try and make it look like I do. That's some skill. <laughs> Love the shine. Yes, our shimmer paint gives such a beautiful shine. Okay, now, I don't know. I don't know if my shimmer paint gets a little, a little cloggy here. But just because I've sprayed myself times that I was actually pointing it toward the card, I just think it might. So... I just kind of scratched the little the little thing there. Okay, so I've shown y'all this before, but I'm gonna show you again. Just gonna go, I'm gonna go about this far away. I hope y'all can see that. I'm just gonna just gently oh I got myself. Okay. So oh I got my thumb in there. See? See my thumb right there? Maybe you can't. I don't know. It it oh see I just sprayed the underside of my arm. Oh, poo. <laughs> All right, this is getting out of hand. Hold on. All right, all right, I can do this. I can, I can, I can do, no pressure. 
no pressure. I don't even know what happened there. It's a galactic incident. Somebody call NASA, but don't use my name, please. All right. Now, if you're going to the potty, you can use my name and you'll get a good seat. All right, hold on. I can do this. I've missed it two or three times, so we're just going to call that an incident, a galactic incident. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm all shiny right around here, but we don't care. Okay, so there's our Stampin' Spritzer. Y'all know how to do it. There's no excuse name. <laughs> Y'all actually know how not to do it. Now, you see how it's poofing up a bit? That's all right. Don't be nervous. Okay, let's get that over there and let it dry a minute. Do not look at this paper because it's in my stash. We don't carry it at Stampin' Up, but it's the color, it's close to the color of that precious little puppy dog. So guess what? Y'all see there was two cut out. I'm not gonna tell you why. Oh, wait a minute. We gotta stamp him first. Please hold. Swing low. Sweet cherry. Oh. She started singing that today too, y'all. Oh my goodness. She said, coming for to carry me home. And I just thought, oh, baby. Okay. Talking about the angels and oh, anyway, it's part of the Milky Way. Yes, it is. That's how you. <laughs> that's not how you drink, woman. <laughs> okay. Um. So th I'll start to say this is Bohan. No, I'm Bohan, and this is Soft Suede. They tell us put our name on things when we go places and do things. So I just get a little crazy about that. Um. I've not talked much about our blocks, but this is the most commonly used size in my studio. Anyway, it's a D. And Stampin' Up! blocks are so nice. They've got this little groove around here. They're just, they're soft to the touch. You know what I mean, soft? I don't mean like they're gooey. I mean, they're just soft. All right, here we go. We're going to stamp him down here. And we are stamping him in soft suede. We're stamping her in soft suede. I stamped her earlier in a discontinued color. So we're not going to talk about that. Okay, that goes over there. And look at me having all the stuff. I hadn't had to say one time it's over there, have I? Not yet, but we're not done. The evening's still early. Okay, so I have to kind of cut that off, I think. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to line up my little puppy. I'm going to line him up and then show him to y'all. Hold on. Okay, I lined him up. And I know you want to cut out this way, but don't do it. The, the color is Bohannon. Yes, it is. The color is Bohannon. Um, so I've lined him up, and you see I looked at his tail. I've looked at his nose. I looked at his little wee puppy toesies. I'm just going to punch him out. Look how happy he is to get out of there. Okay, I'm going to drop that little heart. So we've got him punched out. Her, it was a girl puppy, so we got to say her. And what are we going to do about the heart, y'all? I'll show you. I will show to you what we do for the heart. Okay, we're going to use us some real red right here. And this is our little heart. And it doesn't matter if I get it centered or what. It's just going right there, okay? Doesn't matter about that. None of that matters. Because, okay, I'll tell you this. I did not bring the little thing to clean my stamps. It's over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I finally, finally left something behind. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to put this little heart in right here. Oh, and we also have a kitty cat set. And this isn't just a bad news, sad people set. This, you know, you can do a lot of things with this. Um, like I said, you can, you, can, um, you can make a little dog house and say, just for you, keep calm and wag on. You have a little bone, little footprints, you know, and the little collar too. You can do a lot of things. It doesn't have to be, you know, a sympathy card. All right, let's cover up this. Let me talk to y'all about Real Red. Take it serious. Okay. <laughs> look at look at this. Can y'all see the galactic disaster, starburst, whatever it was that happened in my hand? Okay. So we got our little heart. We got our little puppy. And we've got quite the thing going on here that's still trying to dry. Look at that. It went all the way through. Well, of course it did. I put a gallon on it. Okay, we're going to glue this down. And should I put this on the wet stuff? Why not? 
Okay. Oh, look at the black. It's got a little shimmer to it because probably my computer does too. My laptop's right there. It probably does. All right, there we go. Just gonna put that on there. And y'all need to lay down flat. There we go. Whew, okay. All right. There we go. All right. Then, um, here is our sentiment where it says a best friend thing. And if I stamp that right there, we're going to be covering up that boo-boo. Let's see how well I do. I meant to use my um, Stamparatus, but it's over there. All right, so I just got to kind of get over this. Like, <laughs> seriously get over it. I might need counseling. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I just covered up a boo-boo, y'all. There you go. Yeah, Karen, you need it. You need it all. You need all the things. Just start on page one and go to page whatever. Okay. A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. Now, we got a little heart. I've got my glue dots here. I've actually got one orphan glue dot over here. Let me use him. Come on now. Okay. And I should have my scary dental tool. Oh, come on. No, I took him with me. Okay, I took him with me this weekend. I like the little heart to go like this. I just like it on the corner of the T. I don't know why, but I do. And then we're going to put this puppy right here. Is that the sweetest thing, y'all? Oh, 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 okay. Let me get my Stampin' Dimensionals. I know what they're called. For the moment, I know what they're called. But also, Leanne, help me. They are Dimensionals. They are pop-ups. They are little... Oh, hello. They are little um, thingies, all right? All right, so I just put a long one there, but let me tell you, all this stuff along the edge, this is good stuff, y'all. I'm going to clip right here. Take this one off. I'm going to stick it down here. And maybe just another couple. Oh, let go. Maybe just one here. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. All right. Can I put it there? That might be a little bit big. Hold on. Don't get excited. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right, we're just going to do that, and um, hopefully he'll be a good puppy, and he'll stay right where he's put. Oh, you know what? I can do this. Stay. <laughs> there we go. There's our little baby, little puppy dog. And this is more like her because of the the lighter color. So this is their card. Plus it's, I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's it doesn't have boo-boos. So that's their card. And that's that for that one. But I'm going to make another little something if y'all would like me to. Um... <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, you're going to have to take out a loan. And Janice, yes, it is a sweet card. Thank you. Thank you. And like I said, I cased it. Um, I actually wrote the lady's name down. She's in the UK, and it's it's I can see it from here, right over there. Um, but it's on Pinterest. If you, if you Google, if you Google Pinterest, how about that? If you go to Pinterest and um, search for Happy Tales, you'll see a card that looks just like it. And that's her. And she's in the UK. Okay, now, what would you do with this? Well, the cool thing is, I can take it right here because these are so reusable. I am just, I'm just going to stick it on there, y'all. And now I can use it again. Okay. Whew. All right. <clears throat> now, got all that done. Excuse the mess, but here's what we're going to do next. This is just a little something. It says friend, and look inside. It's got a Ghirardelli chocolate. Now, I want to tell y'all the story real quick. We went to this thing this weekend. <laughs> Boo-boos and all, thank you. <laughs> we went to the um, to this thing this weekend, and they gave me a little thing with Ghirardelli chocolate in it. And you'll see that on the other video. Well, I wanted to make something special, but I didn't have any chocolate, so <laughs> I took it out of that one, and I put it in this. And this is what we're going to make. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the chocolate out. All right. It's just a sweet little something. Just think if you went to, you know, a little somewhere and wanted to give a little something. 
Well, that's what this is for. You just give a little something, you know? And we'll put the ribbon in and tie it on the next one, okay? All right, so I've got a piece of tape on here. Can you tell? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. We should have timed that and had a little contest. Okay, so this is our scalloped tag topper punch. I've got a brand new punch coming in that's another tag. Um, it's called the Delightful Tag Topper, I think. It's definitely called Delightful, but I think it's called Tag Topper Punch. And it's got three different sizes of the punch. This one is a two inch because it's got this little, um, I guess it's called a throat, I don't know. But it's got this right here, so it needs to be two inches. Now, disclaimer, do not get attached to this paper. This paper here is, <laughs> this here paper, <laughs> this paper that I have here is discontinued in the biggest discontinued way ever. But it's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So y'all should buy it when you see it because, because when it's gone, it's gone. But then you find it in your studio and you're like, oh, that's so pretty. And this is the other the other page of it, another page. See how pretty? And it all coordinates. Why? Because it's stamping up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. All right. But like I said, it's discontinued. Do not get excited. Okay. So this is going to be two inches. And it goes one way. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at it going this way. So that it'll be in the right, whatever you call it. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, I just have this, I just have this little trimmer right here. It's not the trimmer, but right now Stampin' Up! doesn't have a trimmer. So I can use whatever I want to, hello. All right, so there we go. All right, now we're gonna cut it seven inches. And no, we're gonna cut two inches. Then we're going to go this way for seven inches. And yes, part of it's going to be going the other way, but that's okay. That's going to be the back. Don't get excited. All right, so now we want to score it because, as you see, now I did design this right here tonight. As you see, and I mean, you'll probably see it everywhere because it doesn't take a whole lot of, doesn't take a whole lot of um, intelligence to do this. But I'm just, I'm just saying, I didn't get this from anywhere. This right here is, I want to say it's a half an inch. Um, yeah, that's a half an inch right there. So I have this length and this length plus half an inch. Okay, so I'm going to go to three and a quarter. Three. Oh, oh dear, this is not my favorite. It's not my favorite, y'all. Oh, poo. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead and punch the sides. The, the, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so this fits perfectly in here. I'm going to trim it in a second, y'all. Don't get excited. I mean, I'm going to score it. It fits right in there. And if you look under, you can see, is it even? Well, no, it's not, silly, because I'm doing it. Okay, now it is. All right? And you punch. And, oh, I got to tell y'all about something else, too. Hold on. Okay, and then you go right there and punch again, okay? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so since I can't read my measurements on here, I'm going to take the other one. What did I do with it? Here it is. I'm going to take this one, and I'm just going to score it where this one scored because I know this one's right. Okay, how about that? How about that, people? Okay. All right, so we're just going to go there. And this is the score blade. Um, your trimmer should have uh, a score blade and a cutting blade. If you're just getting a score blade, pick another trimmer. I mean, if you're just getting a cutting blade. All right, now, yes, I could have done this differently, but this is how I'm doing it, y'all. Get a grip. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I can do this. I can do it. There we go. Okay, Whew. no pressure, right? So now I'm gonna fold it on the score line there. I'm gonna fold it on this score line here. And look at that. I mean, we just, you know, I just use that as a template, okay? Oh, the pressure, y'all. Okay, all right. So like I said, we got a, we got a 
one side going one way, one going the other way. But it doesn't matter because we can make this the front right here. Or we could do it all on the other one. Uh, you know, this side. I'm just, you know what? I kind of like, I don't know. I'm going to do it this way. All right, so we got our little, our little half inch little thing here. And now I'm going to to put my <laughs> I can put my little chocolate right here. It's not my little chocolate. Somebody gave it to me, and look at how I'm doing. I used it for this, and I'm probably gonna have to eat it. Okay, so that. Now wait a minute. Why'd you do that? Hold on. All right, there we go. There we go. Now it's acting right. Okay, and it's just in there. Okay, so then we're gonna take a little piece of ribbon. Go in like this, and we're going to tie it. Oh, let's not bend it all to pieces, y'all. Okay, and then we're going to go like this. Now, if you want your bow to lay flat, you should go this way. Don't ask me why. Somebody figured it out. Gravity versus ribbon. I don't know. It's in some medical journal somewhere. All right, but hold on. It's, it's not easy to do. Oh, there it goes. Hold on. I can do this. I can do this. It's just a bow, and it's only live. Let's not be nervous. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Ah, yes. All right, so now I'm going to pull that down and pull that down. Didn't I say it was going to lay flat? Okay, well, it's going sideways. Gonna go back and do it this way, like I wanted to do it to begin with. For heaven's sakes, y'all, there. Look at that. I did it just opposite of the of the way they tell us to do it, and doggone, it worked. Okay, so let's trim this. We don't need to get all howdy. There we go. Okay. Whew, all right. No pressure. Okay. Now we're gonna make the little middle part. Here we go. We're going to punch it out of that. Um, wait a minute. I don't need this one. I need this one. This is the um, that punch right there. Mm -hmm. It's in the annual catalog. Do y'all know how much I love punches? I do. I just love punches. Okay, I've got this teeny tiny, itty bitty little friend. And it came from Waterfront. So when you're picking out a... Um, that chocolate wouldn't have made it for your demo if I... <laughs> Oh, Janice, shall we talk about the ones that didn't make it? <laughs> but when you're picking out a stamp set, <clears throat> look for look for sentiments that you can use for other things. Like this thanks right here, you can use it so many different ways, okay? The little trees here, that can be a Christmas tree, y'all. Just all that stuff. So just look at your stamp sets real closely and get the most out of them as you can. Okay, so I got a little piece of white, whisper white, let's use this one, whisper white cardstock. And I want to use, what color do I want to, ooh, 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 this will be pretty. How about this, oh no, the gorgeous grape would be even prettier. Let's do gorgeous grape. Gorgeous. Y'all ever wonder why this is here? We'll talk about that one day too. It's a thing, y'all, it's a thing. So we're just going to stamp friend super easy and by the way this piece of paper got in way of the glimmer stuff so it's all shiny which is neat because that paper's shiny so you can just you could just make your own little shiny paper okay so now we're just going to center this again my punch is upside down we're going to center this in the middle here punch it out i know y'all are impressed I can just punch with the best of them. Okay, here we go. We're going to put it right there. But you know what? We're going to get a little crazy. We're going to put a uh, stamping dimensional on it because I learned the I learned the word tonight. I can use this word, stamping dimensional, this term. We're going to take this, pick it up, and... Oh, what I want to tell y'all. I almost forgot. So on Monday, my husband and I went to... CC, which is Classical Conversations. That is our, uh, both of our kids homeschool. And their children go to a group called Classical Conversations. They go once a week 
and we're just gonna I just use my snail there and we're just gonna stick this right here and there we go is that just the sweetest little something hey Danny um just Karen Karen has just opened her um, delightful triple tag topper it would pay to write the measurements on each step yes to save time and paper yes and I threw this down real quick tonight oh there's her name <laughs> all right so it's the UK distributor Jane Allmark that did this card so I cased it from her and here's my little cheat sheet for this um, anyway so um, so we went to classical conversations and my husband went with Ren this was on Monday and I went no yes he went with Ren and I went with Phoebe well the teacher had them do some art and they had to do um, abstract do y'all know how that drove me crazy let me tell you they 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 drew a picture a real picture like a tree in a house whatever then she had them tear it up and then put the the clean edges together like if this was a straight edge and the picture was here and they tore it like this and then like this and like this then they put the clean edges together this way and they created a whole different picture let me tell y'all something there's a little boy sitting in there it was so stinking cute and he looked at his little picture that he drew and he he liked his little picture and then the, the teacher says all right now tear it in half <laughs> and these are a bunch of seven-year-olds and he looked at her like she told him to grow a unicorn horn and he was just like excuse me <laughs> She said, that's all right, Boudreaux, which is not his real name. I've, I've changed his name to protect the innocent. She says, that's all right, Boudreaux. You just need to, cut, to tear it in half two times. He was so uncomfortable with that. And I get it. I get it. Like, this has to go in the trash very soon. But this I can look at all night. So that's what I got to share with y'all tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. And... Here's what we made. If you missed part of this, please go back and watch the replay. I want to thank y'all again, everybody that ordered from me. You guys, I appreciate it so much, and I need I need your support, and I appreciate it. And just picture me on, standing on the street corner at all the red lights going, order my Stampin' Up, please. You know, fundraiser, that kind of thing. I really, I mean, if I make the next level... Y'all won't be able to stand me at all. Let me just say that because I will be so full of myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. And I know I'm 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 goofy tonight. I'm just really tired. And um, I just appreciate y'all. Love you guys. Thank you. And comment down here if you have any questions. And I'll get back with you. Toodles. God bless. <laughs>